Everybody. Welcome to Review Time with ISIP. I'm ISIP and today we're going to be taking a look at uh, the Iron Factory IFEX uh, 36, the Tyrant, which is their take on a actually a bunch of different types of Megatrons. Um, if you look back here, you can see uh, Monstrosity, Infiltration, Origin, and All Hail, and they all turn into tanks. A tank. It's just one figure with a bunch of extra pieces. Um, get the box open and we can take a look at what comes in there. We get a clamshell shell with, that separates into two, two uh, sections. We get uh, the a total of three heads. So we got the one for, let's see, this one is the origin head. So we got the origin head here. We've got which one are you? We've got the all hail head and possibly monstrosity head. And then on the actual figure we'll have the infiltration head. And of course there are a bunch of different pieces like if you want to turn this into a G1 looking Megatron you would use all of these bits except for this part and you could do that um, in this tray we have another cannon uh, we also have uh, an energon sword the other the other head right there and a gun of some sort, which I'm honest. If I'm honest, I'm not sure which uh, which mode it actually goes on. I think it's supposed to go on Origin. I'm not 100% sure. See, I don't I don't follow the IDW comics. I'm not really a big fan of of, of the IDW or the Dreamwave comics. If I'm honest, uh, I did enjoy the Marvel comics way back in the way back in the day. So anyway, let me go ahead and get him out. And here we have. We have uh, the Tyrant in his vehicular form, and it's a, it's a tank of sorts. It's, I mean, I've seen better, but uh, you, you've got different, different guns that do different things to make different, like you can, if you want to, let me see if I can get this out. Now, you see these hands here? These hands aren't actually supposed to be there. Uh, there's a special set of hands that actually have a folding wrist, which I don't have on there because I didn't feel like. Let me just go ahead and pull them off. But these are the hands that are supposed to be on there, but I don't really like them as much as these hands. But these hands have a hinged little, whatchamacallit, so they will fold away like they're supposed to when you turn them into his different modes. And uh, it's a shame they didn't put that that wrist on the other hands so we could fold them away. Let me go ahead and just change out his hands real quick. Let's get this here. So you, that would, that's supposed to be folded in like that. And then you close this up and you got those little nubs and then you take this and this will get plugged in. There's like notches on the inside that match those and you just line them up and then close up and you've got your turret which actually I'm surprised it actually does turn it turns and you can kind of get an up and down by rocking it and stuff um, I don't think it's supposed to do that but hey and then, like I said you can get some of the other guns if you wanted to make other tank types let's go ahead and get this one out let's see if I can figure this one out real quick so that opens up like that and then what do we do and then this opens up like this and then go ahead and slide this one out 
of here. And then plug this in here. And then you have that tank tur looking turret. Okay, so we got that one. And then even with even with the fusion can fusion it? Is it? Yes, fusion because plasma is the um scalvatron. Even this one will will do that whole thing. You just separate it and then you have to rearrange the bits. And then this goes like like that and then And we can go ahead and stick this in right at the beginning. Like that. And there we've got his fusion cannon in gun mode. And I mean, he could actually hold hold these in his hands if he wants to. I don't know if it's these hands, the other hands are. Plug them into the sides. Um, same thing here. So we'll put those off to the side. We'll go ahead and take a look at my. Well, actually, let's pop that off. We're gonna go ahead and transform him. So we've got. I've already got a Decepticon Ripper label on him. Um, I kind of wish I had a second one so I could make him into an Autobot, but we'll worry about that later. So I'm just trying to remember how do the steps go because I've only transformed him a few times as well. I don't really transform my figures very much, especially when they're a little complicated. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll separate these bits here and then this goes down like that and then close this up okay this goes down like that close this up okay fold that out and that's for the most part the legs i'm going to take this piece and flip it up all right flipping you up these just go back here. Actually, hold on. These you have to unpack this part and then slide this up. Unpack that, slide it up. Actually, that might have been the way it was supposed to be for the tank mode. I don't know. It's not the way it's on the picture. So, uh, and then let's go ahead and move this for a second. And then this, actually, yeah. Let's move this out of the way. That's supposed. To, I'm supposed to fold, fold the chest piece up first. I'm sorry, and then these. Uh, how do you work? You flip up like this. Okay. Let's make sure this is all the way back, and then this will slide forward. Flip this up, and then you can just work the arms how you see fit, depending on which version you're using. Um, open this up and flip out his hand. Do the same thing on the other side, open it up. Right there, flip this piece out. Flip this piece out, I said. Okay. And then you take these pieces and they will, these little rectangular bits will tab in on the back. You just tab them, tab them. And then you pick whichever gun you want to use for your Megatron. Oh, and then pull his, his crotch up first. And then you can pick your poison. This is what he looks like straight out. Think straight out the box. This is the configuration he was in. That's a pretty nice nifty looking figure. I do like him a lot. I love Silver. I love Megatron Silver. I don't really like him as gray. I know in the cartoon he was gray, but the toy is actually silver, the original toy. So I like him as silver. It's more regal. Okay. And then let's see. We will put this on. And there we have. 
Uh, hold on a second. I'm looking at the pictures on the box, so. Let me fold those down apparently according to that right and then this will go on the back I'll just take the gun and put it on the back and that'll get it out of the way yeah well whatever and basically that one is infiltration Megatron so we've got infiltration with the little gun I think this is the one this is how he is for when he's the Autobot. So we've got that. And then, let's see, we take this gun and flip the shoulders up, put this here. And then we have to switch out the head. And once we switch out the head to the other one, we will have origin. So there's that, and then there's that. Okay, that, that, and I swapped out the gun already. He's holding the sword in the picture. I'll give him his sword, and I have to unscrew the head, so now i got to figure out where I got to, oh, I know where I got to screw Jarvis in my hammer. See? Got this hammer, and then you unscrew this bit and there's screwdrivers inside so which I think this one might do okay, and then you just come over here and I would probably not undo the screw all the way just enough to slide the head off let's see is that enough So, okay, the head is just on a ball, but you still need to do that, screw it, and then we'll take the other head, okay, and that should be open enough to get it on without completely unscrewing it, because then you'll probably have a, a dilly of a time, whoops, trying to get it get the screwed back in. I've heard some people having an issue. I mean, I really haven't. I think I've unscrewed it all the way before and not had that issue, but... Okay, so go ahead and screw it in a little bit so it's tight enough to stay. Um, just so we can get a feel for the look. Okay, I'm just going to tidy them up, guys. Sorry about that. Okay. Alright, and there we have origin right origin yes we have origin so this would be close to what he looked like uh for his original megatronus appearances i believe so there we go so we've got that and then we have let's see monstrosity and all hail the only real difference between monstrosity and all hail really is that one has the tank treads on the back and one does not. So, you just let's see. Pull the tank treads off somehow. I know they come off because I've done it before. You pull them off. There we go. They just tab in right there. You pull them off. Uh, let's go ahead and take the sword out. And then we're going to take these bits on the side. They just tab in, see? They just tab in on sides. We'll take them off and put those to the side as well. We're going to take these bits come off, so we have to open them up. Yes, 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 we do. How do we open them up? I forget. Uh, and let's see. Ah, okay. There we go. Open the tank treads over here and then open this bit here and then it should slide right out. Oh, I forgot this part is supposed to go up in the as far as the legs are concerned. Let me put those back on. I'm sorry guys. I'm sorry guys. Uh, let's put you back on for a minute. Okay. 
so the leg is supposed to look like that. So I'm sorry about that, guys. I'm just not in my proper headspace. And then you just these just kind of slide out to the side. We're pretty much stripping Megatron down of uh, everything. Oh, and we got to take the head off because we have to put the other head on. Now, I meant to keep my Hot Soldiers Optimus out so you can see a size comparison. Trust me when I say these guys are not compatible as far as size is concerned. They both look good, but the size is just not for their toys. So, go ahead and put the proper Megatron head on for this, which is the g one you can see very G1 style. It's got the little divots on the side of the head, but otherwise it's definitely definitely a G1 Megatron style. And then we just have to get his accoutrements and pop them on. So oh, we'll go ahead and get this tray out and we're going to take, oh, you can't see the tray because I didn't zoom out. We're gonna take these bits off, these bits here. These are gonna be on the legs. We're gonna take Ooh, these bits here and those are going to be for the hip skirts we've got the G1 back we're going to get his little mace and his shoulder pieces as well and we don't need all these other guns so I'm going to get his his gun back into its G1 configuration so his fusion cannon can, I can get this open So you go like that, and then you go like this. So we have it like that. And we put it to the side for now, because we still have to get him dressed first. So we'll take these bits here, and you can see there's like rectangular bits in there, and they go over this rectangular peg. So got that we've got this side okay so he's already starting to look a little more megatrony did I put it on the correct way though I did not I put it on backwards okay my bad it's actually supposed to go this way uh, if I can get it to go and there we go this way So we got it that way, and then we take these bits here, and then you'll see these big rectangular areas go over that peg there. If I can do it. Okay, there we go, there's one. And, oops. And then we'll take number two. Okay, there's that. So now we've got the G1 legs done. And we just have to get the hip skirts, which go on like so. Like plug that in there. We plug that one in. And there, where are you? There we go. Okay. There we go. And then we take this piece. This will clip onto the back, giving him his over the shoulder gun part. Take this, and this will go on here. And then we can pop his hand off, and then this just plugs in right here. So we've got our G1 Megatron, and it looks really nice. I'll just go ahead and put his hand back on because I like that better. So there we do have the G1 
look. And it looks nice. I like it. I think I like I like the not origin the infiltration better. But there's that. And if you want to, you can put the tank treads back on his his back and then you can have uh, what they call monstrosity which is G1 megs with the, I guess with a tank mode so yeah yeah he's pretty he's pretty nice I'm gonna take that off I want I like the I like the G1 backpack best if I'm honest that's how I that's how I prefer him if I can get it on there we go okay so there he is and let me go ahead and give you some size comparisons here he is next to bridge walker bridge waker bridge watcher there's shockwave and he's pretty nice he's a little shorter but not overly short that's pretty cool here he is next to the transformers hybrid series uh Optimus Prime, and I think that's that's not a bad scale. I don't mind Megatron being a little bit bigger. Um, it just makes it makes Optimus whooping his tail so much more satisfying. Here he is with the Combiner Wars Megatron from a few years ago, which I guess is like the origin, made up to look like the origin Megatron. So we got that, and here we have Titans Return. Uh, wind charger I think it's wind charger wind charger yes next to him so you can get an, a feel for the legend scale size that they're going with so yeah that's pretty much it this guy is actually a pretty nice looking Megatron if I'm honest he looks great and I'm glad I picked him up when I did uh, I wish he were, I wish his scale was a little bit either bigger or that the other one was smaller for the figures that I got, but he's, he's pretty cool. He's pretty nice. He looks like G1, but he's got the Iron Factory, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? Uh, nuances. So, and I like that you can, you can swap out parts and make whichever Megatron you desire as far as from IDW till G1. So that's pretty much it. I like this figure. I hope you enjoyed this review. I hope it wasn't too scatterbrained. I'm Isaac. Thanks for watching and ciao.